Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to have a look at Trash World News Unknown Context. Let's jump straight into it. Find and replace keywords in a target message file uh, 212. Okay, cool. As directed by Ember2. A list of keyword pairs indicating which words should be found and what they should be replaced with is available in file 300. For example, uh, keyword AI should be replaced with collective. Each keyword will only occur once, uh, but may not uh, may occur in any order. Also move file 200 to the art box. Okay. Cool. So how should we approach this? Um, well, we will probably need two X's, so we'll start by running X01. It's going to be handling file 300, so we're going to grab it, and we're going to link it, uh, sorry, we're going to link to 800 again. What are we going to do? Hmm. So what we might do is we'll use XB to retrieve a line for it to search for, and then when it finds a line, it will read from M again. Yeah, cool, okay. So basically, we're gonna have XA just constantly read from uh, the 300 file, and we're gonna pull from the 300 file whenever we need to. Because we know the keyword will only occur once, it means we don't need to store the keyword. We can just pull it down when we need it, um, and we are guaranteed that it will, all these words will occur at least once in the, f in the field. So that makes things easy. So mark file reader. <coughs> copy from the file to the bus and then we'll test for an end of file and if we're not we'll f jump back to our function okay cool uh, what does it want okay so then XB we will link 800 uh, and then link 799 to get into the same room as the file and then we'll grab the file we need so now we need to loop th through this file and if we find the word actually mark in looper I'm going to call it I'm going to copy M to X so basically we're just going to copy AI network research information inform informer Bob um, and when we do find AI, we'll call uh, M again to get the word that we should replace it with. So we're going to test X is equal to zero. We'll jump to the uh, actually. I think I'm jumping ahead of myself. Yeah, wait, how am I going to be able to... T I need to be able to tell when I'm out of words. So... Maybe when we're end at the end of the reader, we'll copy uh, 0 to M as well. Uh, it's basically saying that... Like, this Yeah, actually, this is useful. Cause this means that when we finish up, uh, we'll just halt. So that way we can use XA to indicate to XB when we should end. Yep. So then we'll seek back to the uh, back to the start of the file for the looper. Yep. Cool. So uh, mark in. Yeah. 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 Cool. Then we're going to do the file loop now. So this is sort of just sort of setting up the everything we need to do prior to um, re-executing a loop through uh, 212. I um, basically testing to make sure that uh, the, the value that we've received from the reader is not at the end of the file. So then our file loop will test to see if uh, f, the word that we're currently on, is equal to x. Uh, and if it is, 
Then we'll do a jump to delete. So we need to define delete. And delete is just going to seek backwards once. To the, so we're on top of the word. And then hmm, we need to copy this word out. But Oh, uh, wait. Actually, this is where we come into place. So then we copy um, M to F. So basically, this is going to copy... So right now, we're sitting on AI. We read AI. We found AI in our file. When we find AI in our file, seek backwards, and then replace it with the next word that we're passed, i.e. collective. Uh, so this gets over having to store this value separately. Um, we just read it when we find AI and keep reading. So... Um, and then we're going to jump. Oh, actually, we're going to have to jump below here. It's kind of a pain. So we'll create a new func. We'll create a new routine called return. This is just to the point that we want to return to. We're just going to test this here for at the end of the file. Um, and if we're not, then we're going to call file loop again. It's kind of gross, but it does work. Um, yeah, and then if we are at the end of the file, we'll jump back to in looper uh, to basically get the next word, which will be network, and replace it with warehouse. Hmm, I think that's fine. Oh, cool. Okay, that worked. Let's see if the next one works though. Network. I suppose one optimization I could make is when I find the word, I could just loop back, but that requires communication back to XA, which is a little bit more complicated with the setup. So, okay, so we know that works. However, we're not going to be able to fulfill the uh, the last requirement, which is uh, leave no trace and also move file two hundred. So, ugh, that's okay. <laughs> Let's just create a new XA for that. Uh, link 800, uh, grab 200, link 800, and then halt. Um, and XA, I think. Leave no trace. I think we also need to wipe the file that XA is holding. Yeah. So we'll wipe, and then we'll also halt, and try that. Okay, cool. That is working. Sorry, that was a longer one than I anticipated, but the logic's pretty sound. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.